from gardening to animals to extreme renovations. Welcome to Homesteading at College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're continuing our series on casual and complimentary prepping and we're continuing to answer the question of how much food do I need for a year and today we're going to talk about sheep and goats. When we talk about having a sustainable homestead, one of the most important things you can have is an animal that can survive off the land. Sheep and goats are notorious for being able to survive off hay and forage and grasses on your property without needing a whole lot of other things. To say that they don't need other things would be a misnomer. Sheep are notorious and goats both for having parasites and you'll have to have a plan for taking care of those and hopefully it can be in a sustainable way. You also have to plan for the minerals that they need, copper and different things that are unique. Uh, so you have to plan for that so don't leave that out of your prep. But that's not what this video is about today. This video is about sheer calories and how much we need for a year. So let's take a quick look at what uh, we have done already. If we break down where we're at, we needed 1,460,000 calories in order to survive, the two people to survive for a year. Well, our garden supplied us with 488,000 calories. And the last episode, we talked about pork, which two pigs supplied us with 566,000 calories. So we're getting pretty close. We only need 405,000 calories to make it through to the year. So let's see what goats and sheep can do for us. Now it's time to talk about goats and sheep. Let's take an example. If you've got goats and sheep, you're turning grass into food for you and your family. Now when you raise goats and sheep, you can't raise them as singles. They're flock animals and they want to be together, whether it's goats or sheep, but they can be raised together. But they've got to have other animals, so you have to take care of making sure you do that. Now they're gorgeous to watch, they're great, they're small, they're perfect for the, for the homesteader to, to raise. But remember, these cute little things, you're going to turn them into food. So that's what we're after is calories. Goat and sheep are the most eaten meat around the world. And we have to understand that the reason for that is because of their caloric ability to turn grass into food. So let's talk about that. First off, let's talk about the lowly sheep. Sheep, whether you call it lamb or mutton, will give us pretty much 40% of live weight as meat. So if we look at that, uh, sheep do a real good job of turning grass, because now sheep like grass. They'll, they'll browse too, but they pretty much like grass, and they turn grass, good quality, good quality grass and hay, they turn it into meat at a ratio of about 40% of their live weight. So for that, you're going to get 1,335 calories per pound of sheep that you grow. Now let's talk about goats. Goats are the perfect homesteader animal. They're going to be a thing that turns produces meat, but they're not going to produce as much meat and calories from meat as sheep do. So let's talk about goats for a minute. And we're going to confine ourselves to a dual purpose goat, a goat that you can get milk from, as well as get meat from. Now, a dairy breed of goat is only going to give you somewhere in the neighborhood of 28% of live weight as usable meat. Well, that's just fine because the real thing that you're after with the goat is milk. So we're going to talk about milk too, but before we get on to that, let's talk about the goat meat. Goat meat is lower in cholesterol than about any other meat. Uh, the animals are easy to take care of. They're not great big. Uh, probably, goat is probably the perfect homesteader milk cow. So, and when you get their meat, it's 650 calories per pound. 
there are a lot of uses for goat milk. Uh, whether it's feeding other animals, uh, making cheese, making uh, butter, uh, depending on the butter, the cream that you get from your goats. Different goats give different amounts. Uh, making all the other dairy products. Uh, you can make hard cheeses and soft cheeses. You can also uh, use goat's milk. A lot of people who have intolerance to milk can still drink goat's milk. So goat's milk is a wonderful thing. And the average goat is going to give you about seven gallons. This is average now, not not all goats. It's going to give you about seven gallons a month. And a gallon of milk is worth 2,688 calories. You see what uh, sheep and goats have available for us? Let's figure out how many we want to raise. Well, they're herd animals. You have to raise them. Uh, you have to have quite a few so let's just say that we raise four lambs. Now you can get four lambs off two ewes if they throw twins. But I'm going to say that you really need to have four ewes and a ram to be kind of sustainable for a while. And three nanny goats and a billy. So what we're aiming for is four lambs a year and three goats a year. But knowing that they can have twins, we could have more. So let's go with that. Now, let's start off with the higher calorie of the two. Sheep are quite a bit higher calorie than uh, goats are. And what we want to concern ourselves with goats, we want to raise a dairy breed. And the reason we want to raise a dairy breed is because the milk is going to be more calories than all the meat of both of them put together. Let me say that again. The milk is going to be all as more calories than all the sheep and goats put together for meat. So milk is what we're after here when it comes to the goats. So let's uh, take a look at that. Let's talk about a lamb. Let's say we've got a 100-pound lamb, which is a big lamb. Uh, let's say we've got a 100-pound lamb. Now what's that lamb going to give us? Well, after everything's said and done, you're going to get about 40 pounds of meat off of that lamb. Now for that 40 pounds there's 1335 calories per pound of lamb. Lamb's a pretty high calorie food because they're marbled. They have quite a bit of uh, fat within their meat so they're juicy and, and marbled and it, I really like lamb a lot. So the lamb's 1355 calories or 1,335 calories, excuse me. So if you raise four of those, that gives you 140 pounds of meat. And for that 140 pounds of meat, you're going to get 213,600 calories. Now let's talk about goats. Goats aren't going to be give you nearly the calories that lambs do. Uh, a goat Goat meat is only 650 calories a pound because they're more lean, they're lower in cholesterol. Matter of fact, they're lower in cholesterol than chicken. So a goat is a very lean creature. Uh, when you do, when you think about goats, what you really want from a goat is milk. Milk's amazing, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's say we have three nanny goats and each one of us gives us a kid and we're going to put that kid in the freezer. Well, let's say we raise that kid and it's a larger breed goat, not a not a pygmy or a you know, we're going to go for a larger breed goat. So, let's say that kid is raised up till it gets to be about 100 pounds. Kind of like the sheep. So, it gets to be 100 pounds, well how much meat is he going to give us? Well, a dairy goat's only give you going to give you about 28% of usable meat based on live weight. So if we consider it that way, each one of those three goats is going to give us 28 pounds of meat. Well, that's going to come out to be 84 total pounds for the three goats. Well, a goat is only 650 calories a pound. So if we follow through with that, it gives us 54,600 calories of goat meat. Alright, 
Now for the most important part of raising goats, milk. Goat milk is great. You can drink it. You can make cheese out of it. You can make butter. If you got the right breed of goat, goats don't give you a lot of cream. But if you got the right breed, you can get a little bit of cream each day and, and then make some butter out of it. Uh, they're probably the best uh, homesteader milk cow. You know, a lot of people have a milk cow. Milk cow is a great old big animal, 1,000 pounds, hard to handle sometimes. They can get hard-headed, not headed and be hard to take care of. Uh, a goat can be hard-headed, not headed too, but a 100-pound animal is a whole lot different than a 1,000-pound animal. So let's talk about milk for a minute. Now, your average milk goat is only probably going to give you, and I'm saying average now, not every goat's this way. You know, some are going to give you a lot, some are going to give you a little. I'm just going to say the average goat is going to give you a little less than a quart a day. So if you've got a goat and he's giving you a little less than a quart a day, that's going to come up to about seven gallons a month. Well, how many goats do we have? We've got three. So we're going to get about 21 gallons of milk a month. A little less than a gallon a day. Well, that's pretty awesome because and it's hard for two people to drink that so what do you do with it you turn it into cheese you turn it into butter you turn it into soap okay you use this goat milk for a lot of a lot of different things now how long are you going to get that well the average goat if you're doing it in a sustainable way your goats gonna have to feed the kids it has and it can have between one and three there are actually some that have had four, but generally it's between one and three kids to a nanny. So if it's got three kids, you're going to have to supplement one of those kids' uh, food probably. But they're going to suckle for a month and a half, two months, let's say, two months. So then there's the gestation, the breeding and gestation period. So you've got to let her take off for that. So if you do all that and you think about it, you're only going to get milk for about half a year, six months. So if you're going to get milk for six months and we've got 21 gallons a month, if we do the math, that comes out to be 126 gallons of milk a year. So milk is 2,688 calories a gallon. For our milk production, we wind up with 338,688 calories. Wow, that's more milk calories than the meat of sheep and goats combined. So where does that put us for our overall year? So what's our tally on sheep and goats? Well, if you add it up, we got 54,000 calories from goats. We got 213,000 calories from sheep meat. And we got 338 calories, 1,000 calories, of milk. So how does that add up? Well, if we add it all up, that's 606,000 calories. Well, 606,888 total calories. Wow, that's a lot. So we are over. You know, if you, if you go back and you look at the previous video, we were up to, we had 405,763 calories left to go. Well, this gave us 600,000 calories, 606,000 calories. So we're over by 201,125 calories. So we have met with just pork, garden, and sheep and goats. We've met our year supply of food and actually have gone over by 200,000 calories barter stuff but that doesn't take into account that we're going to make soap with the milk you're going to lose calories in the way where you make cheese but you don't lose that you pour it back into your pigs or your chickens or anything else that you're growing on the farm so we've made it enough calories now that we're over but we're probably just really going to break even because of the losses when you do whey and things like that so let's continue on with this series why are we going to do that well we're going to do that because 
you need to have options about how you want to structure your homestead for your prepping. You know, you need to have options. You need to know how much sheep are going to give you. You need to know how much pork's going to give you. What about chickens? What about a beef? What about ducks and geese? You know, turkeys. You've got all of these things that you can look at to determine what's going to be best for you. And always remember, as you're prepping out for your homestead, that you have to feed everything here. Now, you can buy some feed, uh, but that gets away from the sustainability aspect. Buying feed. Grass-fed animals are a way to really add value to your homestead. So, our next videos, cattle, ducks and geese, chickens. So, be sure to come on out and subscribe. If you hit the little icon, it will take you to our homepage and you can subscribe there. And if you hit the little bell once you get there, it'll take, it will notify you when we upload videos. We upload videos every week. Uh, we upload Sundays, sometimes one, sometimes five. It just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. So now it's time for me to get on to the next thing.